Why should you do background checks? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. Well, you know, there's many reasons why we should be doing background checks. And one of them is that by doing background checks, you actually get a better quality applicant. So just with that alone, uh, it's well worth doing. Because we know in the cleaning industry that the turnover rate is approximately 300%. Uh, that's that's really high um, you know ours was never that uh, we had uh, systems in place and there's reasons why turnover is that high but uh, ours was never that high there, there's no way that would drive you crazy you imagine having a turnover of 300 percent or more but anyway that's the whole reason about doing background checks you get a better quality of applicant um, and uh, with that high turnover rate, uh, you know, we're doing the background checks, so we're seeing what kind of, uh, you know, if they've got a record um, and so on and so forth, uh, meaning that we're doing a better job of screening uh, our applicants and making sure that they're a good fit for the team. So that's, that's one good reason. And again, you know, uh, the other reason is that it reduces workplace violence. Um, which is, a, which is an issue, you know, throughout the United States, I think they're spending millions and millions of dollars on uh, workplace violence. And by doing background checks, again, you know, we're going to know what kind of, uh, if, there's, uh, if the person has a record or not, and so on and so forth. Um, and it's really something that you just don't ever want to happen, uh, because just think of what that would cost you uh, if there was a, a, a person that you had hired and they, they came to work and, uh, you know, they, they hurt people or, or kill people. You know, the, you just don't want that. You know, which, uh, which is really a good point because when you think about it, the same thing is true not, necessar not just in the workplace, but uh, for your customers too. So if you hire somebody and... Uh, you, let's say you didn't do a background check on them, you hired this person and uh, they went uh, ahead and they uh, assaulted one of your clients uh, or killed one of your clients. Um, you would be held liable for that. So what you want to do is that you want to protect yourself against uh, negligent hiring. Uh, and that's exactly what a background check would help you do. So that's probably the, one of the best reasons why you should be doing background checks. Uh, there was a story that I read, uh, this has been many, many years ago, where this carpet cleaning company um, had hired this person, uh, and this person was doing route work, they're going to homes and, and cleaning carpets. Well, they had went to this lady's house, they cleaned her carpet, and then later in the day they returned to the home, and in which they assaulted the, the, the gal, and uh, ended up, they killed her, and then they set the house on fire. Well, this company was held liable for that, uh, for uh, uh, firing or, or negligent hiring. So that's probably the, one of the biggest reasons why you should be doing background checks. Because if something were like that to wherever happen, you know, boy, you, you, you know, your business would be shut down. Um, you know, and that's the other thing too, is you know, when, when you have instances like that that were, were to happen, let it be workplace violence or even a, cl uh, a customer gets hurt, um, you know, just think of your name and, uh, and uh, you know, the lawsuits and everything else that you'll have, you know, because so many people tell me that, well, it costs so much to have a background check done. Well, you know, for a state background check on average, it's about 19 bucks. For a regional check, it's about $28. And then for a national check, it's about $39. That's not, you know, that's not a whole lot of money to protect your business and to protect your name. So when you start thinking about it in those terms, okay, you spend $39 for a na nationwide background check, or okay, you spend all, the, all these thousands and thousands of dollars for uh, attorney fees and, and so on and so forth. Well, you know, it's, it's really a no-brainer. So the one thing that happens to that is people, they generally will try to do things as cheap as they can. You know, and that's, that's not always a good idea, especially when it comes to background checks. I've talked to many people that just go to their local sheriff's office and, and get a background check. Well, that's not the best place to do that because the sheriff's office more than likely is just going to do a local search for that city, town. You know, they're not going to do a broader search. And you should be doing nationwide background checks. 
And there's many reasons on that. You don't, you do not, you know, if you don't know where that person's moved to or where they've lived over the years, there's a good, good chance that that person probably lived in another state. Uh, you know, and if you're not doing background checks nationwide to get that information, you know, they might have a warrant or, or they might have had arrest in another state. Uh, so you, you need to know this. So don't try to go cheap and just go to the sheriff's office and pay him 10 bucks or whatever that is uh, and, and uh, get a background check. It's not a smart thing to do. Like I say, you know, you should be doing nationwide background checks. So that way uh, you know for sure that, uh, that uh, you've done a thorough background check on the applicant. And as I said, you know, the, the average price is around $39 for a nationwide background check. Pretty inexpensive when you look at some of these other hidden costs if you were to have a lawsuit happen to you. So, so these are all things to uh, think about. But if you're not doing background checks, you should be. And uh, you should start today. Um, you know, you can do a search. Uh, there's many, uh, many services out there today. You can do a search online. You can find multiple companies that provide it and uh, for a reasonable price. So uh, that's my advice to you, is if you're not doing background checks, you should be doing them today and uh, start protecting your business. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And uh, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to uh, uh, our channel. Just click on the subscribe button up there and uh, you're gonna find hundreds of, uh, clean, or hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. Till next time, we'll see ya.